Welcome back. Uh, this is now hour 17 of 24 terrible hours, an entire <laughs> fucking day with the F+. I am Boots Rain Gear, back from a breakfast break. Uh, joining me here are Jimmy Franks. Hi. <laughs> Nutshell Gulag. Hello. Isfahan. Give me more, I can take it. And Achilles Elise. <laughs> hey! Hey, welcome back, Achilles. Thank you. Um, and uh, and on the art stream, we've got Amelia Blank. Um, so, <laughs> how are you guys feeling? Uh, oh, I'm great. Uh, uh, good. Pretty good. I, guess, I yeah, most of you have had some rest. So I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm the uh, I'm, I'm the lone uh, lunatic here. <laughs> You're the one who to whom time is destroying the quickest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we're we're uh, we've just passed the two thirds March. P March? Nope. Yes. Uh, it's like the trailer. No, we, we have that's no, evidence right there. We passed March. It is now April. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm onto something. Um, and now we're moving on to our 17th document of the night. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you sound so defeated. <laughs> Everything must go. <laughs> Everything must go. Yeah. Um, half the idea of doing this in the first place was that I looked at the uh, the hopper we had, and there was uh, over a hundred documents in it that all kind of looked good. Um, so this was our sort of way of helping uh, make some of them happen. Uh, some of them that were long neglected. In fact, we're going to eventually get to one uh, that's been in there since the first Obama administration. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. Neat. Um, but uh, first of all, we're going to do, well, not first of all, 17th of all, we're going to do Daki Makara, uh, which is a document provided Yay. to us provided to us by Lady Frenzy. Lady Frenzy. Yay. Um, which, if you're not familiar with the term Daki Makara, that's uh, anime body pillows. Um, so, doctor, oh. doctor! Oh, hey, I'm Boots, back. you want to explain um, the change in the, uh, the the goal there? Oh, yeah. Or, or um, I... Also, uh, uh, we've got a, a donation goal of $3,000. Um, <laughs> once, uh, if, if we're able to hit that uh, during a time frame when we have both Montreth and Healy's uh, still with us, Mm -hmm. um, they have they have each promised uh, to eat gross shit. Mon Montreth <laughs> was a salt and vinegar chips in iced coffee and possibly something mm -hmm. else involving it, which sounds sounds just atrocious. Um, and Healy's, uh, let us know what you have uh, just waiting in your fridge for you. Sure. Well, um, my girlfriend <laughs> brought home a uh, Soylent one day. And it's been in my fridge ever since. And I figure, you know, for you guys and for, and for charity, I'll, I'll, I'll drink it on stream. Yeah, he's got a webcam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get to see my lovely face uh, uh, lose all hope. <laughs> Is this the one that was, like, found in a, in a derelict fridge somewhere or no no, no. <laughs> it was fairly legitimate but okay but it's still so as provenance so. you you can you can uh trace the chain of custody i, I can <laughs> yeah i can yeah well, like chain of evidence <laughs> <laughs> um okay so let's uh let's start into this uh nutshell uh-huh i want i want you to uh do a, a compare and contrast um so Dakimakura oh, is a it's it's a a long pillow with the uh, the figure of usually an anime lady on it. Um, yep. And see what the what the difference is between owning that and owning a pet is. Mainstream society is pretty disturbed by the idea of owning a Dakimakura, and using 2D love as an emotional surrogate. And sure, some social problems might be there, even if it's more of a symptom than a cause. But there are a lot of things society considers completely normal that upon reflection sound just as problematic. For example, what about owning a pet for companionship? I'd rather use a 2D character than enslave a living, feeling being for my emotional needs. This thought came to me from an old married couple I know. They've been together 50 years now, and their marriage is basically loveless. A few years back, the wife got a pet cat, and these days, she's actually said she loves it more than her husband. She even talks to it and imagines it has more intelligent and emotional agency than a cat could ever have. Of course, this is an extreme case, but even people with Dakimakura don't think their pillows can actually comprehend human language. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. 
There are no crazy people who own Dakimakura. No, no, no. <laughs> Just like with a Dakimakura, it's a self-serving relationship where an object is invested with imagined qualities. But pets, unlike a Dakimakura, are not objects. I've always considered the idea of owning pets a bit odd. People enslave living beings for life purely for the sake of their amusement or emotional fulfillment. Since it's a self-serving relationship, a lot of pets end up under-simulated, neglected, or outright abandoned. That cat from before is an outside cat, but now he's always kept in the house so he doesn't run away. A Dakimakura, of course, doesn't care if it sits in the closet all day while you're at work. But when people get pets, some animals will end up in the same situation. Not all, and maybe not many, but far more than should be. Still, society will give you Dakimakura a disgusted look and won't bat their eyes at owning a pet. But if you're easing your loneliness through some surrogate, isn't owning a Dakimakura a much less selfish and possibly more ethical way? Well, there's no other reason to own a pet. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Nope. The en enslavement's the only legitimate reason to have a pet. Yeah. You there, slave, bring me a waffle. No, you're just going to sit there? Okay. I'm just going to look at you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a nice nap. Okay. Uh, Does, so doesn't you... Dakimakura actually solve a lot of society's problems when you think about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sure. let's, let's, let's find out, uh, Isfahan. Or should I say commando? Oh, you're a commando. This is perfect Whoa. for you. All right, I'm a commando. <laughs> and, and assume uh, you want me to read uh, Why to Sleep with the Dakimakura. Yeah, yeah. All right, Why to Sleep with the Dakimakura in review. Listen up, maggots. <laughs> this is kind of a review for Dakimakura cover I got. It's probably the only one I'll ever get because of the price on these things, but here goes. So, for some reason, it seems Dakimakura covers are only for Max Otaku. They're expensive, but most of them are sexually suggested, <laughs> and they are made to sleep with. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, what's so weird about sleeping with a big-ass pillow that happens to have one of your favorite anime characters on it? <laughs> Lots of people seem to think it's about wanting to sleep with said character, or something like that. <laughs> Which is why you're sleeping with it. Well, at least for me, anyway, it's about sleeping with a super soft, big-ass pillow that offers comfort that's incomparable to any pillow I've ever owned. That happens to double as a wonderful piece of anime art for your bed when not sleeping. <laughs> Maybe really I'm different the than... Together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm different than most users of these pillows, though, because I got my pillow about a month before my cover. And I used the giant pillow before I even got my cover because it was soft and offered amazing comfort. Imagine my surprise when my cover came and it was even softer. And then I came in my cover and it was even softer <laughs> still <laughs> for a while. So that's my reason for sleeping with my Dakimakura pillow. It's soft, huge, comfortable, and accents my bed with a nice anime art during the day. And it's not about sleeping with the anime girls or replacing a girlfriend or something. Though I won't lie, it does feel super awesome sleeping with a big-ass pillow. Of course, the cover I'll be reviewing isn't as suggestive as a lot of the ones out there. Please, God, give me a period. But if that's I, the kind of artwork you'd like to have displayed, go nuts, period. I don't, I don't protest too much. I mean, it's not like you can even see the cover during the night when you go to sleep anyway. <laughs> Every pillow is beautiful in the dark. Okay, uh, it's fun. I'm going to want you to skip down uh, past a whole bunch of pictures. Yep. Uh, to where it says, so in my opinion, let's wrap this up. Whoa. So maggots, in my opinion, this pillowcase, pillow slash case, is for anyone who wants to sleep comfortably with a super soft pillow and have some nice anime flair on their bed during the day. I don't think that Dakimakura covers are for perverts or crazy otaku, but for people who want a great night's sleep and some nice artwork for their room, God, I really like commas. I find it kind of weird when people sleep with them in replacement of girlfriends and such, but hey, people can do whatever they want, period. And that's... The... Man. Thanks for reading. And hopefully I'm not the only one who thinks of Dakimakura covers in this way, and not a perverted kind of way. Maybe I've opened some of you up to checking them out. They are wonderful, soft pieces of artwork. Because <laughs> I don't know how to uh, close up my thesis. The main point I'm trying to make <laughs> is that Dakimakura covers are soft pieces of fabric that have wonderful art designs on them and should not be used by pervy otaku to fantasize and freak out over. And uh, uh, Rapido's got a response here, Achilles. Oh, congrats on your own Dakimakura commando. Once you sleep with Dakimakura, you can't go back. <laughs> uh -huh. we we also got my favorite characters, but I only have one body pillow, so I always interchange the covers whenever I want to. I find it creepy at first. It's like someone staring at me every time. 
Yeah. Because of yeah, its it's, lights. it's the pillow that's creepy, not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because of its life size scale, plus its butt naked. <laughs> what makes it more creepy? Some people might think that you're doing something with it. Dalkimakras are really for matured collectors that could control their urge not to rape their pillow. So is that just assumed that you're going to have that urge? And you... It's only for people who can control the urge. I'm just a man. Um, <laughs> it's the same as having cast off static figs, which you don't do Bukaki on it. Dude. What hour was that? <laughs> Me and my buds. Uh, since I got my first Dakimakura, I'm always hunting for Dojin types like this at Mandarake. Congrats again and cheers to more Dakimakura. Should I say sweet dreams? No. No, you shouldn't. Oh, boy. So that was uh, mm. that was in favor of uh, sleeping with Dakimakura. Uh, we have a counter-argument coming up here. Uh, this is on Ooh. page four of the doc um, mm -hmm. that that Lady Frenzy is titled Anti-Sleeping with Dakimakura. And, uh, <laughs> Nutshell. Yes? Are you going to tell us why real otaku sleep with their waifu? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, why real otaku sleep with their waifu? A Dakimakura not necessarily to be hugged or slept with if not so desired. In fact, that's actually a cringing thought. Not because it's creepy to sleep with the pillow of a fictional female, but who would want to wrinkle their expensive treasure by crushing it with their arms and defiling it with their sweat? Can't oh, but one them? of my Dakimakura hangs safely from my wall, and only because it's a lesser magazine extra. Oh. This is, of course, a means of protecting them as they're quite pricey, but also to fulfill another purpose. A real, authentic Dakimakura is far more than the creep pillow they're heavily misunderstood to be. Below is an example out of my collection, my most beloved of them all, Europe. A Venus de Milo of Dakimakura. This particular Dakimakura <laughs> was released by Kara the image link doesn't work. Yay! Yay. <laughs> a genuine manufacturer and distributor. That it matters because form. a genuine ma with a genuine manufacturer, you get a product that lives up to the illustration it features. My Europe was crafted with flawless colors. He was precisely picked down to the pixel without the slightest percentage of miscoloration. The color is also bold and bewitchingly vivid. Her hair is lush, immense violet, skin tone ever so delicate, as ever speck of shadow gradient is picked up. And even the surrounding background bedding feeling plush as well. I wouldn't dare put this Dakimakura on a pillow because I want to sustain this impeccability for all eternity to adore. In the case of Europe, the fact the one would find her sharing her physical beauty outside of the single Dakimakura adds her majesty as a character and female alike. Ooh. She sustains her classiness yet provides something to savor for those willing to spend. Oh my god. If one were sincerely in love with a certain anime girl, or guy even, they would do themselves no greater favor than purchasing the Dakimakura and relishing a new side of the character they've never seen before. Yeah, the backside. <laughs> um, I'm an, I'm, Actually, they've probably seen that side. <laughs> I'm anonymous. I have five doggies. Four of them are magazine extras, the same naked Tenshi and Yurippi you have, and clothed Tenshi and Bride Fina, and two side TTGL Yoko. But I love them all equally, although I would never dare to sleep with them. Fina costs more than a GSC figure. Jesus. Instead, I also hang them on my walls. It's the only way to put them on display and not ruin them. I'm not worthy of my pillows. Uh, I'm off to Etsy to pay off my college tuition by uh, making these things for people. Seriously. See you later. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're moving on to the next category the Lady Frenzy has provided to us. And this is also uh, stuff that they're going to read from the doc because the links don't work. Is, uh, all of these are real. Oh, old. no. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let's see, when was, this, the, when was this originally provided to us? This is from... 2015 June, so, so getting, getting close to two years vintage, a a fine uh, a ripeness for a F plus dog. Mm -hmm. yeah. we I don't want to describe the bouquet on this one, though. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Franks, tell us how your parents reacted. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh, well, oh, sorry, ask the, us the how question, our, Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, um, uh, how did your parents react when they saw your Duck and Makura for the first time? How has your relationship with them changed? And uh, Isfahan take Komeji? Okay. I don't think they will give a shit. The problem with a lot of Dakimakuras is how lewd and revealing they are. And this pillow is as tame as can be. As long as they don't catch me cuddling and kissing it at night, it should be okay. Just gotta make sure to keep my door locked before sleeping. What? <laughs> um, uh, nutshell, you take Kekun. Oh, K okay. Hmm. Kekun. Yeah. It's down a little bit. Cocoon. You know, I see. I'm just wondering oh. how to... Yeah, how this pronounced. Okay. Well, when I pre-ordered the Catherine Love is Over edition, the store clerk informed my mom of what it comes with. On the back drive back, she simply said that I was the only boy she knows who wears three pairs of boxers a day, so I need them. <laughs> what? The problem no. is she knows why I go through three a day. You're... Oh. What's going on? <laughs> that's, that's fucking gross. Um, uh, Healy's take the anonymous uh, that starts with a list of things. I currently have three with one more on the way. Sonia V. Litviak Fave, Mina Tepes, Yui Angel Beats, and arriving soon, Konata Izumi. I own my own house and no one has seen these. I think my immediate friends would just get a laugh about them, but my family might be a bit worried. However, the closest family member lives 150 miles away, and at the end of the day, I think they'll just be happy that they're of girls. Haven't dated IRL for quite a while. Have already been asked if I'm that way. Ugh. So Dakimakras are your new homo? Yeah. <laughs> it's no way pillow. better. Well then, well, then you should say, no, I'm not gay, because look, I got these fuck pillows. <laughs> See? I'm not a pervert. <laughs> But, yeah. I'm not what you expect a pervert to be, at least. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a different kind of pervert. I'm a pervert you didn't know existed. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, I'm also anonymous. I haven't seen my parents in a long time. My dad is coming to visit soon, but I do not plan to have any of my Dakimakuras deployed when he gets here. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! The Dakimakuras uh, have been armed. <laughs> They're set to blow. You sent them overseas. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'd be mad or anything, but I think he would be a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> a little, yeah. I don't have any shame. I just don't want to intentionally make my parents sad if I can avoid it, especially when I rarely get to see them. Jesus. You know, I think this last uh, this last post is from Commando from before. Oh. Fun. It says anonymous, but it it could just as well be from Commando. I want to hear it in Commando's voice. Wait, which one? The one at, right after, uh, especially when I rarely get to see them. Okay. If you want my advice, it's seriously worth it. Not only is looking over at night and seeing your wife who's face one of the best feelings in the world, but they're actually hella comfortable since they're, you know, body pillows, which are hella comfortable. I'm a master of tautologies. Don't <laughs> feel ashamed for wanting one. You can get some for as cheap as $40. I have a friend who has over 60 60 pillows? Not, not me, though. A friend. <laughs> a friend, you know. Shimando is his name. Yeah. They, they live in a fort constructed out of pillows. <laughs> I know. It's like there's fort no room pillow, to yeah. sleep in the room because it's full of pillows. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask a question. It's down on uh, page nine of the document. Mm -hmm. Is it strange for a female to have a Daki Mac... Daki Mac... Fuck. A thing? <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. It's uh, at least as strange as a male to have a doggy marker. <laughs> I'm uh, De Winter. I've been wondering about this. What would a guy think if he walked into a woman's bedroom and found one of these cute, half naked girl pillows on her bed? Is it considered abnormal for females to have them? Not the male covers either. This could be my most embarrassing and possibly dumb questions yet. Um, and uh, nutshell. Yes. You can be a Yoan. Okay. No, you're allowed to have a Dakimakura. It is up to you, after all. 
Though being a girl with a girl Dokimakura is pretty hot. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, I kind of liked you. I was like, I was like, you seem like an all right person yeah. in the first half of that, and then nope. nope. Yeah, there's nope. a lot of like interesting attitudes toward homosexuality in this community. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay if it's girl on girl because that's all. Yeah, men, girl on girl is hot, men. but yeah, you don't it's... want you don't want your family thinking you're that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Achilles, ask us uh, the, the, the following question on this document. Uh, is it considered? It, it, is it considered a pervert if you own an explicit Takimakura? Oh. <laughs> I think he just needs an, just went through another pair of boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> this is pair number three. Um <laughs> I bought a new. You've, That's my quota for the day. <laughs> I have to make this one last the rest of the day. Time to return to the hibernation chamber. Um, <laughs> I bought a new Dakimakura from Anime Dakimakura Pillow. I watched Data Live almost a month ago, and I decided to get my very own Origami to Beach Dakimakura. There are a few designs online, but anime Dakimakura pillow design is really what caught my attention. The design is explicit. I'm totally aware of that, but how the, the artists create the image is so beautiful. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in a parenthetical that never ends. <laughs> <laughs> the innocence, the sweetness, and the beauty of Origami to Beach is still there, even if the pose is really provocative. Am I being a pervert just because I appreciate this work of art? Appreciate is a very loaded verb in this case. Like, it can mean so many things. Mm-hmm. I appreciated three boxers worth. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Jimmy Franks, or yeah. should I say, uh, yeah, this homie is, Chan. I'm, uh, homie Chan. Yeah, uh, I spent uh, upwards three hundred thirty dollars on my Dakimakura. God, and it isn't even lewd. <laughs> Nothing wrong with buying. What's the something fucking you... point? <laughs> <laughs> it's very tasteful. It's a very tasteful anime fuck pillow. Oh, <clears throat> nothing wrong with buying something you will enjoy if you have the extra cash lying around. The uh, original poster, yes, you are a little bit of a pervert for buying one with nudity. Though, to be honest, the one you got slash want to get is pretty tame compared to the more explicit ones out there. You're, see, you're only a little bit of a pervert, so say yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> it's a spectrum. It's not, you know, buying yeah. anything. Uh, so the next section is titled The Selection of Posts from 4chan, so I'm just going to scroll oh, past good. that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good. Yay. You wasted your time there collecting that stuff, lady friends. I may have to come back to it, so let's not <laughs> yeah. let's not brush the dust off our hands entirely on that one. Not, not pretend we're that we're too good for it. Oh yeah, yeah. no, no, no. We we certainly aren't. <laughs> um, and now we're in a section titled "Comments to an Article About a South Korean Man Who Married His Daki Makara." Uh. <laughs> subheading if you want to repost by an anime nerd trying to sound smart i do <laughs> okay and i guess i'll uh, okay. i'll start this off i'm uh kaiser pingvin oh look this thread again and oh look the same mass of sheep boldly <laughs> proclaiming the lad to be all manners of failure with absolutely no reasons for their statement, quite pathetic. Really, that one should could shout pathetic so eagerly for no sane reason other than to assert one's own normalcy and conforming nature against the deviant other. You grow to love these threads after a while, you really do. And I, and with love, I mean detest. Good You're day, the lady. You're the Rush Limbaugh of anime fuck pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Quite um, pathetic that one could shout pathetic. He said, call it pathetic. Uh, I, this I guess butt I, hurt. Yeah. This butt hurt. There's nothing sane in marrying a pillow. <laughs> this guy's just there to stir shit. <laughs> I fail to see your point. First, sanity is a rather silly concept. Oh, 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 oh we're doing this, huh? Yep. Okay. 
and I am quite certain you cannot define sanity well enough for your inclusion of this particular aberrancy in the concept without making sanity either ad hoc or very peculiar or not or just not very bad thing at all and indeed common. Secondly, I see no reason something should be despised merely for being eccentric especially when it involves harm to absolutely no one and indeed involves someone getting a bit happier. I hope. Um, thirdly, it's as much a body <laughs> pillow as a human as a human is a body. Well, I presume as one must given the paltry information that he is indeed quite taken with fate, her personality or whatever there may be to it. And the pillow is a stand in seeing as she ain't real. The only well, complaint I could understand word. would be that his taste in fictional chicks is very poor. Oh, well. Oh, yeah? I, I oh, still yeah, want to well. cast... You guys shouldn't cast judgment on this dude for marrying a body pillow. You should cast judgment on him for marrying the wrong body pillow. Well, no one mm. in their right mind would marry a cushion. It's a tautology <laughs> that insanity is a lack of mental health. Apparently, this is a response uh -huh. to what you what? said. I mean... Uh -huh. <laughs> And you, you merely stating that he is insane. You have given no reason to buy this and no reason to take from anything else. The label doesn't tell me anything about you, what you mean. Do you mean he should be locked up? That he should get some ECT? What's that, ECT? Electro something therapy. I don't know. <laughs> Electroconvulsive <laughs> therapy? <laughs> um, oh. That that he needs drugs, that he's a menace to society and needs to be put down, or that he is a cool guy, mad and bad, and too awesome for petty rules. Like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Personally, I think you need to know a person far better than any of us to know this chap to call them insane. Huh. Well, uh, yeah, the, okay. Yeah, I, but, I, think, I, um, I think maybe we can cut this off at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Hold Okay, I've got a lot of I have a lot more ideas about stuff. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, good. You're agreeing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So uh, let's get to some reviews. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, nutshell. Mm -hmm. Here's yes. a positive review, uh, by s seven, mm -hmm. of Koei Choco. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. <sighs> Koei Choco Opai spills out of towel. Hmm. Uh, Opai is Japanese for boobs. Yes, yes, uh, I so know. So people know. I know, thank you, yes. <laughs> yes, somebody listening doesn't. Oh, they probably do. I, I they didn't probably... know. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> know your audience. Uh -huh. A twin set of koi to senkyo to chocolate daki, daki makura are on their way. A well-endowed beauty featured on each, with their opai spilling forward gloriously like a surge of water breaking through a dam. Please, Some please variety I, I amongst really, the I really hope you start comparing things to volcanoes as well. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Some variety amongst the huggable pillows, like a single bishojo and one lolly to go with her, would be more fitting. But Ko Koi Chaco is predominantly known for its ample chests, after all. Each pillow excels at its cause and fulfills its purpose rather well, whilst even giving an essence of individual flavor to each particular pillow cover. Looking at the blonde above, we turn attention straight to where she wants her eyes to fall, her chest. Her womanly <laughs> charms come wrapped in pink and seemingly another padded layer underneath. The feminine accent is like a strawberry gaining its ripened perfection. Oh, wow. The added elegance and allure of color frill and detail. The, du the Dakimakura's opposite half lets loose another tear, brilliantly allotting a higher realm of pleasure and opening it freely. Yeah, this this, this does sound a lot like a beer review. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't like this guy to or tour water. the art museum. <laughs> or a water the review. wonders of freedom are fascinating indeed. As the girl has no more but a towel around her, her opi are held in a rather precarious place, arm keeping them from full exposure. I it can't say boobs because I want people yeah. to remind people that I know the Japanese word for boob. That's right. <laughs> boobs isn't classy, man. Opai's so classy. 
It may seem unfortunate that they're still covered, yet as she holds them back, one can see the deeper surrounding shadows acting in order to amplify volume and depth of her chest. Shifting below, unlike her innocent face suggests, the semi-green-headed brunette seems to have not even a brassiere securing her upper body. And on the Dakimakura's opposite half, her chest certainly pours forth in a fashion much more brazen than that of her friend. The towel doesn't even play a role besides giving contrast to the canvas and further glorifying her opi. It's not just that they're even, it's not just that they're great in size, but the emphasis they receive is sure impressive as well. All this person did was review the boobs. Yep. <laughs> boobs. Is, boobs. Is there any other part no of the pillow? Part. The boobs. Yeah, Instead of a boobs. Most boobs. important part. Um, yeah. Uh, now, Seven has a negative review of, uh, of another uh, Dakimakura. Let's, uh, let's hear about a, a, a poor product, uh, Achilles. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the gag-inducing kill-la-kill Dakimakura. <clears throat> the gag-inducing kill-la-kill Dakimakura. kill kills two heroines are stuffed onto one hideous Dakimakura. It takes the ugliest forms of both females and certainly puts on an appearance worthy of the TV series. Sloppy, forced, and gag-inducing. No. Mm. This isn't merely unpleasant to look at. This is horrifying. The grotesquely atrocious of the appearance of the two monsters portrayed on the pillow is enough to give headaches and instill nightmares. This... This, this scandal has been the brouhaha in parents' basements all over the world. <laughs> Harumph. The only brilliance in which... The only brilliance in Studio Trigger is that they found a way to take Queen's Blade artwork and redeliver it in, in a which a format gullible idiots find fresh and exhilarating. E each girl has such little worth, it's presumably one of the reasons why they've shoved both on a single pillow, despite how well this anime has sold. Whatever the reasoning, it forfeits the chance to make this a Dakimakura of value. Wow. As mentioned repeatedly in the past, Matoi Ryo, Ryuku, Ryuko, damn it. <laughs> I'm so upset. The heroine seen to the left does have her immensely kawaii qualities. It's just that Trigger seems to prefer this street corner attraction side of her, perhaps as it's popular with the Western fans, which also helps explain the shallowness of the series and its many attributes. Aside from its uselessness as a huggable pillow, as no one should want to hug this, it's difficult to think up any use for this item at all, even as toilet paper. It's not worth the price, and clearly not worth the purchase. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the tits aren't big enough. <laughs> More tits, bro. <laughs> uh, probably Jimmy Franks. Yeah. We got another bad review here. Oh, uh, the, we one, do. the one right after. Yeah. <clears throat> the filthy gun gale online Dakamakara and bedsheet. Sword Art Online will be selling <laughs> off its characters at Comic Cat 86 with shamelessly trashy gun gale online Dakimakara and bedsheets. The largest known prostitution ring to be in operation at the annual event. On a bedsheet, Kirito will be portrayed with newly realized girliness, yet with an addition of muscularity on top. He's appealing to the Fujoshis, or female nerds, through the common fact they go crazy over men who look and act like females. Kirito will also be available as a Dakimakura, one side having him blue-haired, holding a giant gun, wearing a hideous suit with such a blatant attention-grabbing attempt. The other side has him wearing glasses with his underwear visible. <gasps> Never before has an anime character looked so pitiful. Not until scrolling down further and seeing the sandwich coon pillow. She looks like a used street corner attraction. Even wearing the standard strap dress uniform, which is seen slipping off her disgusting semen-filled body. What? Mm. <laughs> what? On the reverse end, she's trying her best to satisfy her customer. Torito uh. seems excited he'll be getting to deceive more simpletons, unattractive as they're likely to be. Although the girls wow. clearly look much more despondent as per the sad lifestyles they live. Uh, this is sad, and not even with sympathy. Just as the people who plan to buy those. Jesus. Yeah. 
I don't a lot feel that of strongly about any I mean, I agree. No, we should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're. Uh, I don't know. What we got. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, mm. I thought it was almost time to wrap it up but it didn't no. sorry so we're, nope we're nope. scrolling back up to 4chan here it goes yay yay no but wait there's more oh this is no. page two. there's a the there's dog a dog song dog? at the bottom yeah yeah that's oh, the last thing okay okay um so uh i'll i'll ask the question here uh -huh. this is the, the first the item under a selection of posts from 4chan uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. I'm I'm uh, surprised. My name is anonymous. <laughs> mm. Strangely enough, it's a very popular name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, does slash JP think it is possible to book an airplane passenger seat for my Daki Makara? <laughs> yes, it is. I would I'd love like, to see you do it. <laughs> I would like to bring her on my journey, but I don't Take have pictures. the heart to place her in my luggage bag. Is it legal to have a passport made for her? No, it is not. <laughs> oh, well, we'll take, you, take yes, that you can book take her response a passenger seat, saying. and no, you because she's not a person; she's a pillow. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's fine. Take a, take the second on this response for that. No, because not only is it a waste of space that an actual passenger can occupy, it's not considered alive. Sorry, you'll have to roll her up into your bag and hope customs officers don't molest her during inspection and handling. I threw that last part in for free. You're welcome. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> so helpful, Anonymous. Uh, mm -hmm. Healy's uh, next response. Uh, booking an extra seat shouldn't be that hard, since that's what fat people have to do if they can't fit in one. The issue is getting her through security, since her hand luggage can't exceed some specific dimensions. Are you willing to pack her a little more tightly before boarding the plane? <laughs> Fortune, everybody. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. Yeah, uh, hey. Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey, I, I got a question. Um, sure. Yeah, this is kind of awkward, but uh, my doc was confiscated at customs. This won't appear on my permanent record, will it? This is in high school. <laughs> Shut up, the permanent record follows so you all throughout life. Permanent record. Uh, nutshell, take the first response to that. There's a response? I don't think there is a response. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh. oh, that's just another one. Okay, yeah. take the thing after. <laughs> so, JP, since you're the only ones who will <laughs> understand this, I'm going to tell you something awesome. I just spent over $6,000 on Daki Makura. Oh, that's so bets, awesome. That's taking so awesome. bets on whether or not I'll be forever alone. I'll, I'll I'll take that. Also, <laughs> a thread to make you feel about, better about yourself. I now have a hundred and one dollars total in my bank account. Wow. Uh, how many did you get for six k? I have around ten pre-ordered and twenty six ish on oh the way, God. or already in my Whoa. possession. I'm honestly living off my stash of rice and ramen noodles right now because I cannot afford to spend any money on anything except my internet slash phone bill. What about food? <laughs> What about food? You you oh, only need it. the love of a, of a pillow to survive. Yep. Um, so <laughs> so let's. I think it's time to wrap this up with a song. Um, who oh. who here knows uh, pretty well the tune to "I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas"? I don't know that song at all. No idea. So it's, it's me, Might isn't be you it? Boots. Okay, it's yeah. you. It's yeah. you. That's fine. That's fine. I can I can do it. I but... also do not know I, that song. I, uh, <laughs> I've, done, I've done a lot of karaoke. And I can fake a middle eight break. So uh, <laughs> this is uh, the the classic Christmas tune. I want a Daki Makara for Christmas. I want a Daki Makara for Christmas. Only a wife of Rainbow Dash will do. I don't want to blow up doll, the fleshlight layer or push. I want a Daki Makara with boobies I can smush. I want a Daki Makara for Christmas. 
I don't think Laura and Faust will mind, will you? Yes. <laughs> now Hasbro won't approve my pillowcase design, but cheap third-party printing means that Dashy will be mine. I could see me now on Christmas morning, creeping up the stairs. Oh, what a joy, a fake surprise. Oh, when I open up my eyes to see my wife who pillow standing there. Creeping up the stairs because he lives in the basement. I like oh, it. no. <laughs> I want a Daki Makara for Christmas. <laughs> the bump girl's trying to sleep on the other side of this wall. Uh, oh. <laughs> only a waifu dashy one will do. No rarities or pinkies or Twilight Alicorn. Rainbow Dash is a pony who's in all my favorite porn. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> and I worse. almost have as much as Scootaloo. I wish Dog was creating ringtones still. <laughs> <laughs> Mom says a pony would be <laughs> would what? Oh, what? Bite. I think it's supposed to be bite. Yeah, okay. Mom says a pony would bit me once or more, but but what she see? Oh, okay. Come on! Wow! So just, Keep going. This is hard. I know. It's so late. I know. And early. <laughs> You can do it. You're almost done. <laughs> but what she doesn't know is that I'm totally into Vore. There's lots of room for Dash down in my basement. Oh she my god. Oh. <laughs> she might come and wall. make her nest in Cheeto dust and Lynch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can see me now on Christmas morning. Jerking off downstairs. Oh, what a marvel and surprise in my pony wifey's eyes to get another streak of color in her hair. Oh my god. <laughs> I want a Daki Makara for Christmas. Only a food a dashy one will do. Jesus. No Fluttershies, no Apple Jacks because she's dumb. Rainbow Dash is a pony inside who I want to come, and Dashy wants to come inside me too. What? There! You made it! It's all over! You wow. can die now! All right, what do you think we learned? <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, gross. in a gross-ass uh, document, the My Little Pony people can still uh, win the gross award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ante will always be upped. Yeah. I've learned that these are pretty much just another flavor of anime real doll. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing we didn't read, actually, is making them into that, so. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And on that note... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna take the appropriate a... bit of silence after that <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Amelia Sorry. has said it correctly here. <laughs> Mother. 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 <laughs> 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 We're going to take a break. <laughs> uh, everybody stand up. Uh, stretch your legs. Uh, we're we're about to head into the home stretch on this. Um, mm -hmm. Everything's good. I love you all. Mm -hmm. uh, when we come back. <laughs> it's like, we're, we're in this together. <laughs> I love you all. We'll see you on the other side. I need you all. Um, uh, when we come back, we'll, uh, I guess we're just saying farewell to Nutshell. Yep. And, uh, and Amelia, oh, a uh, round of applause for Hello, Amelia. Hi. Yay. Thank you so much. And, uh, Thanks, Amelia. And we'll be bringing in uh, Positronic. <laughs> so farewell until soon. Yes. Mm.